Hello and welcome to episode 108 of Nuggets Dungeon Terrain. This episode marks the start of a new series and a huge shift in genre. I'm going to be creating some terrain for a zombie based post apocalyptic game. Of course if this genre isn't for you, hopefully you could still find some tips and get some inspiration for your own crafting. So the basis of all this is that I'm creating a game that's post apocalyptic and zombies and it's going to be called Hunter Gatherer. The characters are the gatherers and the zombies are the hunters. You can make a map pretty much any size, but I'm using these cake boards with a really thick base that are 25 centimeters squared. Having marked out squares of one inch, I then have a look back at the plan for my first seamed base. This is going to be a construction site, and on one side it's going to have a large digger. So what you're seeing here is some of the raised areas that have been shaped using XPS foam and then they've been covered with a thick artist textured gel. When finished I doused it in this tan acrylic paint. For a couple of dollars I found this digger and compared it to the size of the miniatures that I'll be using in the game, basically a 25mm scale. I worked out that by taking off the wheels and the stickers and some of the other components I would be able to work it into the model and make it look fairly realistic. I lightly brush some of that same coarse textured gel over the tracks of the digger. I painted the whole digger black and then went back and painted it a yellow colour. Yes it started off yellow but I wanted it a slightly different shade and I wanted something that other things could stick to. I then went about roughing up and adding some extra minor details and then started adding some rust effects. I also added some technical paint to the tracks to make it look like they were encrusted in mud and once the whole piece was finished I worked down a couple of spots that someone might be attacked by a zombie and added some blood effects. Here I'm cutting out the first of several small embankments. The backstory for this scene is that the zombie apocalypse is already well underway, but originally this site was converted from a construction site to a burial site. It was going to be a mass grave, then it got overrun. When people later came back to it, they tried to set up some defences by building up the banks and adding in whatever they could find that was lying around. Since then, it has then been abandoned once again, until the players in this game find it. I found a couple of cars or trucks that worked to basically the same scale as the miniatures and the digger and ripped off their wheels and axles and turned them into this extra piece of terrain. From this small scrap of foam I then cut some blocks and roughed them up 
used a small melting probe to put two holes in them and turn them into cinder blocks. More on how these cinder blocks were made and what they look like will be revealed in a couple of episodes when I show the standalone barricades. Here I'm setting up a couple of points that I'm going to attach some fencing wire. This is a really small thin gauge wire that I've doubled over and twisted around.
So here's the stuff that I used to make up the barriers on each of the mounds. I wanted it to look like it's stuff that you might find around a construction site or some kind of industrial area and also to make it look like a lot of it had been thrown together in a hurry. Some of it's basically there just to trip over or slow down the zombies while a couple of bits have been added to maybe spike or entrap them. To go with the backstory that this area had been seconded for some kind of mass grave, I decided to put in a sign that looked sort of official. I printed out this small rectangular sign and added it to some thicker card before I added it to the post that I'd already set into one of the mounds. Here I'm going over the whole piece with the chestnut wash. Before it ends up on the whole terrain piece, I'm going to pull away some of the bottom bits where you can see the paper's loose and make it look more tattered and I'm going to trim off the edge where only a board exists. Once the whole base was textured and painted with a cheap tan acrylic, I painted over with a really thin black wash. Once that was dry, I touched back over with the tan to take away some of the harsh black sides and then I did a lighter brush with a beige over the top. So here's a look at the finished piece, with and without miniatures, and you'll also notice in one of the shots that the digger is removable.
I really hope you've enjoyed episode 108. The next five episodes have already been filmed and are in the editing phase. So please subscribe and look out for them.